Welcome back. In this video, we're going to work with formulas and solving for a particular variable within a formula. And we're also going to do some quadratic word problems. So, for example, we might have something like the area of a circle. Area equals pi r squared, and we will want to solve that for r. Well, like we did with uh, solving using square roots, we're going to want to isolate r squared. So we'll go ahead and divide both sides by pi. And we'll get r squared equals a over pi. Well, we want just r, not r squared. So we'll use the inverse operation of squaring, which is taking the square root of both sides. And I'm just going to take the square root of both the numerator and the denominator there. And solving for our r, we get r equals plus or minus the square root of a, a or the area, over the square root of pi. Well, we don't like square roots in the denominator. That's irrational. So we have to rationalize that and multiply by square root of pi over square root of pi. That leaves us with r equals plus or minus the square root of a times pi all over, and of course, pi radical pi times radical pi, or square root of pi times square root of pi, is pi. And that is our final answer for r. Our second sample problem, we want to solve s equals 30 times the square root of a over p for a. So similarly, we want to go ahead and isolate the square root. So I'm going to divide both sides by 30. So we get the square root of a over p equals s over 30. Well, now I want to do the inverse operation of the square root. So now I'm going to square both sides. So we get a divided by p equals s squared over 900. And we're looking to solve for a. So if I multiply both sides by p, we end up with p times s squared all over 900 is equal to a. A equals ps squared over 900. Let's take a look at our next question. A rectangular pool is 40 feet long and 20 feet wide. A 700 square foot sidewalk border of uniform or equal width surrounds the pool. So I've got my pool here, my pool that's 40 by 20. And then I've got this uniform border all the way around my pool. It's of equal width. It's the same width everywhere. But we don't know how wide it is. We want to determine the width of this particular sidewalk. So that's our unknown. It's x. And it's x to the right of the pool. And it's x to the left of the pool. So as it turns out, this dimension, this length, while the, it's 40 from matching the width of the pool, we have to add an x dimension on each side. So the length of the pool is 40 plus 2x, x on the right and x on the left. And we do that same kind of concept here. So this length is 20 but we still have this distance x and x. So the dimension are 
width of our pool is 20 plus 2x. The 20 of the pool plus the x on each side for the sidewalk. So we know our pool is 40 by 20. The pool's area is 800. The area of the sidewalk, the yellow all the way around, is 700 more. So my entire length and my entire width equals my total area, the 800 plus the 700. So my length times my width equals the entire area. So from this, we can write our equation. So we have 40 plus 2x times 20 plus 2x equals the area of the pool, 800, plus the area of the sidewalk, 700. That's our total area. So our total area is 1,500 square feet. Something interesting here, I have a common factor in the 40 plus 2x. I can factor a 2 out of there. That becomes 20 plus x. And I can factor another 2 out of the 20 plus 2x, and that's 10 plus x. And that equals our 1,500. So if I factor two 2's out, that's factoring out a 4. So I'm going to divide that out. Divide both sides by 4. 1,500 is divisible by 4. So I'm left with 20 plus x times 10 plus x equals 1,500 divided by 4 is 375. Now, I want to solve this, so I'm going to have to FOIL this first. So I multiply this out. I will get... Well, you know what? I'll rewrite it for you. It's x plus 20 times x plus 10 equals 375. 10 plus x is the same as x plus 10. Now it's going to be easier to FOIL. We get x squared plus 30x plus 200 equals 375. We have to set one side equal to 0. So we get x squared plus 30x minus 175 equals 0. Now, this is probably factorable, but I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to solve this by completing the square. So I get x squared plus 30x plus my blank equals a positive 175. And this becomes 1 half of 30. So 30 times 1 half. So that goes up here. That's 15 squared. So I am adding 225 to the other side as well. So my perfect square trinomial becomes x plus 15. Quantity squared equals, and 175 plus 225 is 400. I will take the square root of both sides, get x plus 15 equals plus or minus 20, and x, my width, x, is equal to negative 15 plus 20, and x is equal to negative 15 minus 20. So it's either 5 or it's negative 35. Well, we're not going to have a negative width, so our width is 5. So we've completed the square. Obviously, we could have factored that, but we get x equals 5. That is the width of the sidewalk. So there's an example of using quadratics to solve word problems and then using your skills of either the quadratic formula or factoring or completing the square um, to solve and answer our questions. And we will see you in class.